Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Uh, we still have, it's a 3.26 April, the 26th actually. And uh, we still have uh, a few charts open. And it was a beautiful run uh, this uh, afternoon. And uh, uh, we still have uh, the CL uh, nailed 10,000. And this is, was a beautiful trade on the CL. And uh, we still have much more to go. Uh, on the CL, three minutes uh, nailed uh, 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 7,200 and still in the trade. And uh, then uh, we have the uh, NASDAQ, two minutes, uh, 7,100. And now uh, we have the ES. Uh, 4,950 and then uh, we have the ES 4 minutes 3,600 and then uh, we have the ES at uh, a 10 range still open and we have 4,600 and then uh, on the 9 range uh, we still have uh, 4,600 and uh, the Y ended very well today, all of them. Uh, the three minutes, 4100. And then uh, we have the, uh, the YM five minutes, uh, 4200. And then uh, two YM, almost the same. Uh, one of them is a four minutes. And uh, the other one is two minutes, is almost the same money. Uh, 3,400 uh, today on the CL8 range um, uh, also uh, we took that trade and um, uh, we got uh, 5,200 on the CL uh, on the uh, CL7 range uh, we got uh, 7,360 uh, on the CL6 range you can see all of them it all depends how the market moves. Uh, six three thousand, and then uh, we got uh, on the CL one hundred take. Uh, uh, this one here finished very early, uh, and uh, we got three thousand seven hundred sixty, and uh, that was a really really uh, nice uh, trade, and uh, it was finished uh, right before twelve o'clock the morning session. And that was a uh, very very good. Uh, on the CL six hundred takes, took the downside, and it is a uh, fifty eight hundred. This is for the afternoon session, and it is also closed. Uh, on the CL uh, eight range, uh, sorry nine range. Uh, we this is the afternoon session, uh, eighty four hundred. And this is a really uh, brilliant trade, lovely, nice. And then uh, the CL500 also took, uh, uh, this is the afternoon session, uh, 7600. And the rest, they did uh, very well for the morning session, uh, 2400, 3000 on the, uh, on the CL. Uh, the CL also, the CL today was really running very well. Uh, ES uh, did uh, 32 on the morning session and then uh, 2100 on the ES 5 range and uh, the 1900 on the YM 600 takes and the one minute it was 2500. Uh, for the other type of a trades, uh, which is my favorite, is uh, the M strategy uh, where it's trading with the FIPS. But uh, first, let's uh, go ahead and cover the scalper. I don't have that many charts on the scalper. I only have like five, six charts. Uh, the scalper does not uh, really require that much optimization. I mean, you can tweak the auto trade uh, on the scalper, but the scalper does not really... Uh, both of them, the, the M strategy and the scalper, the M strategy is straight out of the box, does not even require any optimization, it's very well tuned. 
And the scalper, you can use it the, the basic or you can optimize it as well if you want to. Uh, this one here is the M strategy where it's traded by the FIB uh, from the support or a resistance and, and it is a really uh, very good especially for beginners. It's a, it's a little bit uh, if the market goes against you uh, the, the auto trade will re-engage with uh, trying to get the average price and exit. Uh, as soon as possible out of that trade to get that trade if it's in trouble. So uh, this is a really is a, one of my favorite is uh, especially for the new guy um, uh, don't know how to tweak an auto trade don't know how to read the market so it is a little bit tolerable uh, it's not a just a black box auto trade uh, can uh, get you out of a trouble sometimes and it is very very nice uh, to recalculate your target and uh, trying to get the average price and exit as soon as possible. So this is a, it's a very pleasant uh, to trade with and uh, we want to say uh, special thanks uh, to one of our members today um, uh, which he's been with us a member and um, uh, I want to share this with you. Uh, it's not about the PNL. Uh, he did uh, uh, on the BBT strategy fourteen thousand uh, five hundred and twenty-five, but it's not about that. What uh, really uh, I've been trying to say is that this message below that. What uh, really uh, made my day because what it says in here. I'm so happy now. I know how. Uh, he's from Germany and uh, maybe uh, how I have to handle handle it. So what I'm trying to say is is uh, to get the idea how to manage the auto trade. It is our job to teach you in your package. There is no extra charges for this. But uh, the concept of the auto trade, how um, the first things is, is, is like uh, when when uh, someone calling us, it's like saying, if I buy your fishing rod, uh, how many fish I can catch? Immediately, you will know that guy is not a trader. Immediately, you know, he has no clue. And that this, I mean, this is not reality. You don't go and say to a guy, or if, you, if I buy your fishing rod, how many fish I can catch? If you are a fisherman, doesn't matter really uh, you know how to catch your fish. So what I'm saying is is to uh, the, the lack of education information how to manage the auto trade is the key. It's not the auto trade or a dishwasher machine you turn it on in the morning and it's gonna bubble up to dollars. Uh, the, the, the expectation on an auto trade is like it become unrealistic and um, once you start understand the concept how to manage the auto trade uh, then the rest is easy so it is very important also this is uh, the market analyzer whether you want to follow the signal manually uh, the market analyzer have uh, five uh, different automated trades and uh, you don't have to trade it all uh, you have, uh, as an example, if you took one ES uh, from the last entry signal, it's not the whole day, it's the last entry signal. On the last entry signal, it got one little over 100 tick on the ES. So if you are trading uh, one contract on the ES from the last entry signal, is 109 ticks into the profit. If you were taking or manual or automated trade the NASDAQ uh, you would have got 331 ticks based on one contract and the YM is 242 uh, ticks based on the last entry so let's say we don't need to trade all of it if you are trading one ES you have 111 ticks 
and then uh, if you are trading Nasdaq 100, uh, 300 ticks and uh, if you are trading one contract on the YM is 100 tick. So if we want to calculate it, this is a little over uh, 4,000 base on one contract. This is a very, very also does not require any optimization. <coughs> All of them, they are closed. The charts are closed. <coughs> we only have the Russell left. And if we want to look at the Russell, uh, is a base. All, the market analyzer is based on one contract. And what you see here on the market analyzer, every trader we have have exactly the same number, exactly the same ticks, plus minus uh, maybe delay between me and him or something. Maybe there is a one tick different, but every single member have the same numbers, the same signal uh, on their computer because even it does not require any optimization or start, stop uh, all this nonsense. If we look at the Russell, uh, the Russell base on one contract is 775. And this is exactly what you see here is 770. So uh, the market analyzer, it is, uh, there is, um, around five different automated trade. So in your package, there is a run, uh, there is a reversal auto trade, there is an institutional auto trade, there is all kind of, there is around 20 pieces in there and each one of them is big and some of them are small, very friendly. And um, it depends what you're looking for, but uh, it's also, it's like, why the 20 auto trade why the reversal why the institutional why the scalper we have a mini scalper why the reversal why the reason is is like you know in 2023 you cannot take a mercedes engine off with a screwdriver and a wire plier you cannot do that you have to have the proper tools so if you want to really take your business seriously in the trading you cannot come with an ATR or a MACD and you're going to whack everyone, especially the majority of those people trading ATRs and MACDs. They have zero uh, experience in the trading. It's not just a stupid move on average. That's why we see a lot of uh, people trying to predict the Bitcoin. They're relying only on the move on average. And we see how disaster the prediction. None of them nailing it. Oh, everyone has missed uh, the, the prediction on the cryptocurrency, on the Forex, on the future. You don't do that. You know, this is a baby stuff. You don't just uh, de depend your life on a stupid moving average or a stupid ATR. It's no longer in 2023 valid. So if somebody wanted to... So if somebody want to really take this um, uh, uh, trading seriously, uh, they need to have the proper tools and the proper training, you know. Again, you're not going to come into this market with a screwdriver and a wire plier and you're going to take the engine off and you want to call it a career. You cannot be a mechanic because you have a, a wire plier and, 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 and a screwdriver and now you can open a shop and say, you, you know, you change engines on BMW and Mercedes. Uh, the same story here in the trading. You cannot just come in with a stupid ATR or a moving average and you say, now I want to be a trader and I want to change career. And, um, and another thing also, I mean, if you really want to take it seriously, uh, the, the trading and you want to make a career out of it, uh, you need to have the first things. The first thing it is invest in your tools. Uh, it's not like uh, you're gonna buy a fishing rod. You think this uh, fishing rod, I mean, you ask a person if I buy your fishing rod, how many fish I can catch a day. Uh, it depends what kind of fisherman you are. And the same story here, you don't have the proper tools, you don't have the proper education, you're just wasting time. And that's what you hear a lot. This is what you hear. I tried this company, I tried this company, I tried this company, auto trading, and uh, blah, 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 blah. And they're all bad. Yes. The reason is here is the key. You cannot buy an auto trade without 
education with it. You cannot buy an auto trade and, and uh, consider it like you're buying a, a dishwasher machine, you know, or a coffee machine, you know, you just push the button and then the coffee is gonna t comes from the other side. You don't, you don't turn on an auto trade and the money is gonna pop out from the other side. So the, 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 the differential, there's many, the question is, do auto trade works? Yes, they do. If you know how to drive this auto trade, if you know how to manage the auto trade. But if you are treating the auto trade as a dishwasher machine, you're gonna get you're gonna get whatever left out of this dishwasher machine is nothing but dirt. So you cannot you cannot think an auto trade is an ATM machine. You cannot do that. You have to have the proper tools, the proper education. Uh, it's not, uh, and immediately you can spot it. You know, how much you think I can make on the auto trade tomorrow? I don't know. If the market is moving, you'll be fine. If the market is uh, sideways or chop, you better turn off your computer and run. You know, and if you cannot see it, this is a more disaster. If you cannot see if the market sideways or if it's not trending, I mean, at least the basic, if you cannot, you don't have even, you don't know if this market trending or not, uh, you better push your brakes and uh, go back to the drawing and try to be open-minded and uh, get education because this one here is not, uh, uh, trading is not for uh, illiterate people. It's not, if you cannot read that chart, uh, if you cannot see if the, if you cannot see if this market sideways or a trend then, oh boy, you know, go back, to, I mean, put a full stop on your money. And uh, where, where is this trend in here? Where is this trend? The market was trending before, but no, where is it? Oh, I'm using Renko bar, I can see it. Well, oh, good, because now the guy is using a Renko bar, he's a double blind. He's not even looking at the reality. So if you, you want to really, uh, in the future trading, if you really want to know what's going on in the market, you need to uh, turn on your uh, your one minute to recognize what's going on. Uh, rank of bar uh, uh, range takes is okay if you are uh, auto trading uh, on those, but your eye should be not on the 600 takes or the seven range or, or 100 takes. Your eyes always has to be on the one minute, and then your auto trade is become irrelevant. What time frame you want it? You know, if you want to be cleaning a lot of noises, you go on a higher time frame. If you want to get right into the mud, uh, you want to go to the lower uh, time frame. Is fine, but your eye is always has to be on the minute, folks. That's all what we have for you today. Thank you very much, and God bless every single one of you. Bye.